Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Blanco to Slam. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best business to buy in GTA Online, or at least one of the best businesses. I do plan on making this like a weekly series where I'll have you guys comment down below whichever one you want to see next. But to start it off, to kick off the series, we're going in with the agency. This business is absolutely awesome. I'm going to go over how to make money with the agency, all the little tips and tricks helpful features, helpful information, everything that revolves around this business. We're going to have a full in guide, ultimate guide for the agency, this big, beautiful building right here behind me. But of course, as always, before we get into the video, take one second of your time to hit that like and subscribe button, turn the bell notifications on to make sure you stay up to date. I do upload consistently on this channel, so you don't want to miss a single video. Join the Slime Squad, hit the like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So first and foremost, how to get an agency, right? Where do you purchase one? You get it on Dynasty Executive. I think there's four in the game. I'm just gonna hit the agencies. Yeah, there's four. So we filtered out everything else. There's four agency locations. There's Little Soul, Rockford Hills, the one up there to the top right, and then of course the Vespucci Canals. I got the Vespucci Canals one just because it's close to my nightclub and a few of my other businesses, but the location doesn't really matter too much in my opinion. The three things I would recommend getting when renovating, of course, is the armory, the accommodation, and the vehicle workshop. The vehicle workshop gives you access to Amani Tech. The armory gives you access to 10% discount on all guns and ammunition. And then, of course, the accommodation gives you a bed so that you can use it as a spawn location. Speaking of the armory, I am going to be walking over there now just to show you guys what comes with the armory and why it's pretty useful to actually buy it. So first and foremost, you can restock on armor and health right here in this little section. You can also buy a couple cool like earpieces and even like a night vision mask and also refill up on rebreathers, which are important if you're doing the Keo Perico heist with the long fin approach. You're going to need those rebreathers. And then here, this armory allows you to have a custom loadout, which is absolutely sick. You don't want to be running around with some of the, you know, whack guns. Some of the guns in this game really suck. So you want to just have, so you could hide the ones that suck and the ones that say show, those are the ones that are going to appear in your weapon wheel. So you could actually just run around with all your favorite weapons and mark two weapons if you'd like. Also, there is kind of like a store here where you get 10% off on all guns and ammunition. So if you are going to be buying guns or ammunition, I would suggest getting it from here similar to the auto shop where you could customize your cars and get a discount on your cars that's where you want to customize cars well this is where you want to do all your ammo and gun you know purchasing because it is 10 percent off and that's my guy right there that guy's really cool i like him now moving on downstairs we do have a personal office with an in-wall safe as you can see i only have a measly four thousand dollars in here but that's because this safe works a little bit different than let's say the nightclub safe for this safe, the maximum amount every 48 minutes is $20,000, but in order to get that full $20,000, you need to complete 200 security contracts, which are going to be located right here on your computer. Now, these security contracts are relatively cool and pretty easy and fast. I think there's a five-minute cooldown on them. But you could get them done. You could do 200 contracts in like a week if you're really dedicated. But as you can see, there's different types. There's asset protection, vehicle recovery, and rescue operation. You see, I only have 45 completed, which is why I'm only getting 4,000 every 48 minutes. Once you complete 200, though, you will get $20,000 every 48 minutes. And once you complete those, it is permanent. So you don't have to keep doing them to keep the 20,000. But anyway, we also have a VIP contract, which is of course the Dre contract. It has nine setup missions and then kind of like two finales, one like mini finale, then the last one's the real finale. But each of these, you know, the nightlife leak, the high society leak, the South Central leak, there's three missions per leak. But we're gonna get into all that later when we get into how to make money with this business. So that will be coming a little bit later for all you Dr. Drake contract freaks that want to know about it, <laughs> that is definitely coming later. But for now, let's keep going over the features of this awesome agency. Aside from the fact that you get to do missions with Dre and also work with Franklin, which is awesome. I mean, Franklin's Franklin's OG, bro. Franklin's big dog. He's not in his office right now. I, uh, apparently, he's on a break or something. 
But working with Franklin is really cool. And just seeing him, you know, after the story mode is cool. But another little feature with this business is you will have snacks on this table here. I know some people are big on that, that like, you know, top tier businesses are supposed to have snacks. And then another thing I wanted to mention, you see the exit via helicopter. That helicopter that this business lets you use actually costs $2 million on the Warstock website. So you could literally get a free $2 million helicopter with the purchase of this business. So aside from all the other really cool dope things that it comes with not to mention the view the view from these buildings is usually amazing but you also get a two million dollar helicopter which is very useful especially for beginner players but i do want to head now downstairs to the garage just to show that a little bit so in the garage is where you are going to find your amani tech workshop but you're also going to find this truck right here let me head back upstairs real quick this uh, Jubilee right here, the NS Jubilee or whatever it's called. It's like a $700,000 SUV and it does have a Monitech armor plating as you can see there on the side. It's actually one of the better performing SUVs. It's a really, really good car and you actually get this car for free also when you purchase the business now you can't customize it you have to leave it with the color and all the modifications that it has on it but still man you're getting a free helicopter and a free car plus all the other plethora of features and ways to make money with this business definitely definitely you know all contributes to making it top tier so just to show you guys the amani tech this is where buying that workshop that i mentioned when you're renovating your agency this is where that comes into play because if you don't purchase the workshop you won't have this available to you but as you can see armor plating not every amani tech car has amani plating some of them only have like missile lock-on jammers but there's cars like this that have missile lock-on jammer armor plating and like oil slick proximity mines which is absolutely amazing man amani tech cars are really really dope especially for you know free roam and, and public sessions where there's a lot of griefers and stuff like that you definitely want to have a couple of amani tech cars in your inventory to be able to move around without getting blown to smithereens right because that just makes people not want to play the game the, the garage also looks really cool and it can fit 20 cars i believe so you get 20 car garage with the money tech capabilities and you know the whole nine yards it's a really really good garage one of the better garages in the game in my opinion i really like the look of it especially if you got like silver or black cars the lighting on it just make, makes it look really really good just a side note all right now let's start getting into how to make money with this business so one of the first ways to make money with this business is going to be through pay phone hits it used to be a bit better they changed it up lately where now you could do them every five minutes before it was every 48 minutes but it used to pay eighty five thousand with the assassination bonus now it's only forty five thousand with the assassination bonus but you can do them every five minutes so i guess it, depending on how you look at it and how you want to grind them but as you can see the missions are very relatively easy you call franklin he sends you to a nearby payphone gives you a target and then gives you kind of like a side objective on how to assassinate the target so for this one it was to pick him up in a taxi and then drown him and usually you know these little like assassination bonus requests they're usually very easy like sometimes it's just hit him with a headshot sometimes it's you know wait for him to get in his car and just blow it up with a sniper rifle by shooting through the engine block but for this one we're just gonna go for a nice little dip and leave our passenger apparently he doesn't know how to open a door or use a door handle but who cares we're getting forty five thousand dollars for it for like three minutes of work you're gonna see it pop up here there it is fifteen thousand for the hit thirty thousand for the bonus payment like i said it used to be eighty five thousand but we were only able to do it every 48 minutes now you could do it every five minutes so you know i don't know too many people that just grind payphone hits all day but if that's something you're into maybe it's a little bit better now but i know people usually use to use it as just something to do in between running businesses or Keo Perico or the Drake contract and stuff like that. So it depends how you look at it. I think it's relatively still really good. $45,000 for three minutes of work is crazy. But anyway, let's move on to the next way to make money with this business. And that's going to be with security contracts. So not the Drake contract, not the VIP one, but the regular security contracts. This one is a uh, retrieve assets, I think, where you pretty much just go to the strip club, kill a bunch of guys, get the watch back from the safe and bring it back to Franklin so he could bring it back to our client. Because apparently they can't get back by themselves. We got to do they get back for them. But anyway... 
Security contracts are very easy. They also only take like five minutes. And when these things go double money, it's actually a really good way to make money because normally they pay anywhere from 40 to 60,000. So on double money, you'll be getting anywhere from 80 to 120,000, which is actually really good pay. And like I said earlier, you can do these every five minutes. All right, now for the main way to make money with this business, of course, is the VIP contract, which is where you're going to be helping Dr. Dre get his music back, but it's kind of stupid because in the end, he doesn't care and he lets it leak anyway, so you pretty much did it all for no reason, but hey, he pays us a million dollars, so I ain't complaining. Now, everyone hates this cutscene. I absolutely do myself. You cannot skip it in the game, but luckily we are on YouTube, so we can skip it, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, aside from that horrendous cutscene, I mean, it's like six minutes long and you can't skip it, they really should add a skip button. I think they should do that in the next update. But aside from that really long cutscene right there, and then there's another one at the end of this mission, the Dr. Dre contract is actually a really good way to make money. It does pay $1 million, and when it goes double money, it's $2 million, and it takes about an hour and 15 to about an hour and 40 minutes to complete hour and 15 is going to be for a really like elite and experienced player like speed runners uh, but it usually takes me about an hour and a half for a million dollars which is very very good money now, some people say it's better than Keo Perico. Some people prefer it over Keo Perico. I think it's not as good as Keo Perico, for being honest. Just time, you know, how much money you make per hour. It's not It's not good mathematically. It's not as good as Keo Perico. But I think it is a good mix-up. I think it's the missions are fun. It's heavy gunfire. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. And then on top of that, we get to see Dre just completely wig out and just beat the brakes off uh, Johnny Guns or whatever this guy's name is. So that's also a plus. But yeah, man, the agency is a very, very solid business. Definitely top tier, in my opinion. I think that, you know, with the pay phone hits, with the security contracts, with the Drake contract, you have three solid ways of making money. Then you also have the wall safe, which is a passive income source. It's not as much as the nightclub. I wish it was 50,000 every 48 minutes like the nightclub, but it's only 20. But when you combine that with your arcade, your nightclub, your salvage yard, the money starts becoming really good passively for all those businesses together. And overall, I think the agency is definitely at the top of people's list in terms of really good businesses in Grand Theft Auto Online. So if you don't have one, I definitely suggest getting one or waiting until it's on sale. If you don't have much money, they usually put it on sale for 30 or 40 percent off whenever it does go on sale. But definitely get your hands on an agency and get going. And that will pretty much wrap us up today for our ultimate business guide. This is the best business to buy, in my opinion, one of the best businesses to buy. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I would like your guys' feedback. Whatever business you want to see me cover next in depth and kind of do another full like ultimate guide, just leave a comment down below and whichever one gets the most comments or you know likes on someone's specific comment, that's the one I will cover next. I do plan to do these every single week moving forward. I'm going to be doing one business a week and like i said the agency got us started this week but next week we can do a different one so like i said just leave whatever you guys would want to see down below and i will cover it in depth and in full and give you guys all the helpful information you will need to run it at its highest level of efficiency now before you go if you haven't hit that like or subscribe button please do so now if you've made it to the end of the video and you like the video i'm assuming you liked it if you stayed all the way to the end so of course take one second of your time hit that like and subscribe button it really helps the channel grow and perform better in the youtube algorithm and it also means the world to me and until the next video peace out boys